there are a variety of different setup options a teacher can select to change the visibility of marks, who can make comments, and what the student and parent see. To view and change your settings, head to the class homepage. Once here, go to the top right hand corner. You will see a drop down arrow called Additional Options. Go to Setup. Once in the Setup panel, you will see a number of options along the left hand side. I see students and parents, teachers and assistants, class names and visibility, assessments, waiting, and additional options. Let's start with students and parents. There are a number of drop down menus that you can select that will change the way your class appears. Under students, you can choose whether or not student can enter the class and participate, can view the class but not contribute, or cannot enter the class. It is encouraged that while the class is in session, students can enter the class and participate. When the class is over, some teachers may choose to change the setting so that students cannot enter the class or can view the class but cannot contribute. Under parents, the options are that they can open the class but only see teachers' posts or cannot enter the class. Allowing parents to see teacher posts would allow for clarity of communication, but you can also choose that parents not enter the class. Under show average to students and parents, you can choose to show the average as a percent. You can also choose not to show the average as a percent. You may choose not to show the average right away as your class begins because the grade showing up after one assessment wouldn't be a true indication of the student's achievement. You may choose to turn this feature on later once you have more assessments within your gradebook. You can choose to show it as a percent or high school achievement scale, which will use those letters and levels of achievement instead of a percent. The elementary achievement scale is meant for elementary teachers, and the four level traffic lights is not being used by high school teachers at this time. Under subjective performance indicator, we would recommend not showing this to students and parents at this time. The section immediately below controls how students interact with the class content panel. This mainly affects teachers who are using Edsby as an LMS. Under Mark Content Complete, there are two options, Automatic and Manual. When the Mark Content Complete field is set to Automatic, students see a check mark as soon as they open an item in the Content Panel. When the field is set to Manual, students have the option to mark items complete. This will help them determine what materials they have worked through within the Content Panel. Under Conditional Release, there are two options, Can View All Visible Items or Smart Release. When the Conditional Release field is set to Can View All Visible Items, students can see all visible items in the class content panel. When this field is set to Smart Release, a student will need to complete an item before seeing the next item in the content panel. There is one last section at the very bottom of this form. It says Show Assessment Weightings to Students and Parents. If you select this, it will show the individual breakdown of your weighting scheme to the parents and students under their My Work section. Ensure that you click Save to save any changes you have made on this form. Next, let's move over to Teachers and Assistants. When you click on this tab, you will see the names of the teachers and their role within the classroom. Mr. Leo Wimble is the teacher of this class. You can see he is listed as teacher. The other options are support and substitute. If this is a co-taught section and you have another teacher working with you, it is recommended that you set that person up as a support teacher. This way, they will have access to attendance, gradebook, and report card sheets, but their name will not appear first on the report card. If the secondary teacher is also listed as teacher and their name comes before yours in the alphabet, their name will appear on the class panel for students and on the report card. If you don't want this to happen, it's important to ensure that they are listed as a support teacher so they will no longer be listed as the teacher of the class on the report card. You can also list a teacher as a substitute. In this role, they have access to the class homepage, can take attendance, but do not have access to the gradebook or report card sheets. This would be a great role for any educational assistant who works with you in the class. Next, 
class names, and visibility. You are not able to adjust or change the formal name assigned to the class, nor are you able to adjust the formal short name. However, you can create a personalized name for the class, and in fact, your administrator may have encouraged you to do so for ease of identification. You will want to ensure that Show in Classes panel is checked so that it shows up for you on your left-hand side from your home page. Click Save. Next, we have Assessments. In the first drop-down area, you will see Display Results in this grade scheme. You can choose to show the results as a percent or by High School Achievement Scale. To the right, you'll see Create New Assessments with this grade scheme. This will help you set your default setting when you create a new assessment. If, for example, you most often use the High School Achievement Scale as your grading scheme, you can select so that it is the default option when you create an assessment. If you would like averages to show up for you within the gradebook and perspective in the form of a summary column, you should choose Show. This way, you'll be able to see the averages for reporting periods and by unit within the gradebook. Underneath, there's a checkbox that says Show Evidence button for this class on the Classes panel. If you use the Learning Story, you could choose to leave this checked off. If you do not use the Learning Story and have no plans of using the Learning Story within your class, you could uncheck this box. Below this, we have the Gradebook Summary columns. There are a variety of different columns you can set up within your gradebook. Remember, only you see these gradebook columns unless you click Show to Students. Here, I have an overall column that is summarized by average and shown as a percent. Currently, I have this checked off that I would like to show it to students. You can add different types of columns that help inform your grading process, such as one from any outcome from your class's curriculum, or perhaps a student number column, another overall column that highlights the median grade using the high school achievement scale or a percentage. You can also add another one that highlights overall mode and you can have this shown as high school achievement scale or percentage. These can also be shown to students or not shown to students at all. The next checkbox you see is schemes. Restrict schemes to strands we would recommend that you do not check that box. If you teach a subject that has strands like ELA listed below, as well as the general learning outcomes for the course. Click Save to save your recent changes. Next is waiting. I've gone into this section in more detail in my other videos on gradebook setup and waiting, but here's a quick overview of this section. Here, you will see your waiting buckets that you've created and each individual assessment and how it's been weighted. I have my bucket set up by units and I'll show you how I did this. So first I'll just deselect that. Now I have 21 assessments that I have created within my gradebook and class. In order to distribute them by unit, I click choose what's in this bucket and I scroll down and check unit. Now all of my assessments are organized by the unit that they were intended to belong and once I weight all of my individual units, I will see the percentage points of each individual assessment and how it's weighted. All of my units are weighted equally at 20% since I have an equal amount of assessments in each unit. I can go in and I can change how things are weighted within this setup. For example, this inquiry research project is weighted at 0.2%. I did not intend for it to be weighted that low. You can see that the unit test is weighted at 100. Ensure that you go into this weighting sheet and weight things as they have been communicated to students. Once you have your weighting set up as you communicated to your students on their course outline, you can click Save. Notice that each of the assessments account for a number of the weighting percentage of the overall unit ensure you click Save. Under Additional Options, there is nothing for a teacher to choose or change, so you can close out the Settings panel and check that everything appears as you would like it to. Remember, you must do this within each individual class within the setup area to ensure the settings are properly configured.